hi everybody good morning good morning good snowy morning yeah we're gonna get snow we don't have it yet but it's mid-october in idaho and we're gonna get snow which is gonna set us back for some plans we had around here but it's okay you guys i'm so excited because melody made her channel melody's channel she is doing um a celebration and anniversary it's her third year on youtube and she is doing a challenge there's a giveaway involved Whoa. which is pretty cool and if you saw my last video you saw how my hand she wants us to send in a hand and you should go check them out they are gorgeous well i started my hand it's okay i like it fine but i don't love it so dun 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 i decided it's gonna hang from the wall like this right so i decided that i wanted it 3d i know i know i'm a free spirit what can i say so i went ahead and did this part without you and it's just a matter of one two three one two okay hold on one two three four hands um, that i put together and then trimmed them accordingly now i've punched holes and i'm going to put on the decor because this is going to happen we're going to get this in the mail i'm going to swing my brand new door i got a brand new door and i'm going to swing it shut because my husband is unloading the dishwasher and i can hear it I'm just going to swing this door shut a little. He's going to come up here and work on the handle. And I told him that was fine. I can video while he's working on the handle. Yeah, they brought my new door. Yay! Okay. So I have these scraps. And not all of them are scraps. Some of these... <laughs> are things that I have bought in my travels and stuff like that. I thought maybe these would be good in those little, those things there. So what I'm wanting to do is, uh oh I want to thread something through all these holes that I've made. Where is it? There it is. And I'm not sure what exactly. I'm thinking fishing line might be the answer. Um, somebody on one of the channels. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a mess. I need. I need a little a lid or. Something. Somebody on one of the Facebook channels was talking about how they couldn't seem to get any beads threaded. I have that trouble too. Not always, but I thought this would be pretty on this, and I'll just shorten it up. I do not remember this, but no, it would go on one of them probably. This might go on here, so maybe this would, this looks like maybe it might go here, huh? No. Mm, it's the. Huh. <laughs> and then I have these. 
scraps. But I need some kind of a, an anchor to go all the way through. I think I am going to use fishing line. And I know I have some. I hope I have some. Uh oh. There it is. I would use fishing line more often, but I can't ever get the knot to tie. Even when I'm fishing, I can't get the knot to tie. I'm going to cut it pretty big and then I'll trim it. And if it turns out that him working on the door is too noisy, then this will be a shorter video and I'll come back when he's done. Oh, heavens. Okay. Wow. Can you guys see that? It's really hard to see. I should have got a uh, green fishing line. So my husband spent quite a while over the weekend trying to get the shipping container. Oh, y'all, I can't see it. Trying to get our shipping container ready to paint. Apparently I can't talk and see at the same time. I'm going to have to put another hole through there because it keeps going down inside. Let me turn my phone off. Hold on. Where's my, where's my? It looks like it goes all the way through. It does go all the way through. Okay, so, fine. Susan over at Susie Q Makes is doing a sewing journal. And I noticed she's doing gee many Christmas. I should have done this off camera. I was going to, but then I thought, well, I already made the hand off camera. It's not really very much fun to just see how something turned out. I like watching how people did it. And you can see that there's clearly a better way to do this, like a needle and thread or, you know, almost anything. Oh, my land. I'm, I'm done playing. Hold on. I'm going to get a tool. She's doing a sewing journal, and she's using the Stamperia Threads paper, and now Susan is a sewer, so, you know, there's that. So I'm sure her journal is going to be beautiful. The ephemera already looks gorgeous. Wow, this is tough to see. I 
And what I was thinking is that this thread will go all the way around and just give me something to anchor things on. That's what I'm thinking. You know. <clears throat> I don't know. We won't know until we get started and then we can decide, no, that's not a good plan. But I know one thing for sure, I have to get rid of this because it's everywhere and I can't see it. <laughs> Yeah, we have, uh, I don't want it super tight because I want these hands to be able to move and be open. Mm, I think maybe I'll tie the knot the other way. Isn't that a square knot? Okay, I hope that's a knot. gone with that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. So, now I just wanted something to hang jewels or, you know, whatever. I did pick out uh, adornments for down here. And it the hand will hang this way. So these will go like this, but I wanted to do beads underneath. And I want, I want her to, I want to, mm, oh, something's going on. This is okay, I guess. It's not really what I. It's not really my favorite. I love these beads, though. These beads are beautiful. I'm thinking like this. Oh, that'll be okay. Okay, so. How do we get them on? I don't know, Carol. It's your project. <laughs> We're going to use this tiny attacher. I've decided I'm not going to put an eye. Um... I was going to put an eye, the eye of protection, in there. But, you know, some people don't have the same vision that I do. And I don't want to... That's not the project that she's asked us to make. So, let's see, which was it? So, I've just decided I'm going to... Um, All right, I think I'm gonna do gold all the way around. One, two, three. Okay, that's four. How did I do that? I don't know. Five, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I think that's all I need. busy around our house this morning guys but it was now or never okay and let's look at the instructions C three one 
that's four, that's, jeez, oh, you guys, I can't see. That's two, and there's three, and now I need C, A, B, C. Okay, I believe that. Why not just use this? This pokey thing goes on the pretty side. Most of the time. With me, it's kind of willy-nilly. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty. Okay. I've got my candle burning. I got a free spirit candle at, um, oh, I think it was TJ Maxx. And I love it. It doesn't really love me. But I don't need to breathe. It smells great. I saw a video that said that most of us squeeze way too hard to use a crocodile. And, you know, it's true. I do. I guess, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of faith in it or something. But you really don't need to. You just need to... <coughs> Sorry if you can hear me wheezing, guys. Um... You just need to squeeze long enough just till that first click. Because most of these eyelets are soft metal. And the crocodile, it's, you know, it's right there on it. And you just need to apply enough pressure to bend it. It doesn't take very much. But I always, you know, give it all I got. I have a fancy tool for these, you know, a little picker-upper, but mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute. Yeah, my husband was, we were trying to get that shipping container ready, and he was going to, his goal was to paint the side that's going to go against the shop because it's going to be a one, <coughs> a one-time deal that this guy, this crane operator that's coming He's going to put it in place and that's it. Because then after that, it's going to be full of all of our junk. <coughs> and there will be no moving it. Now, I want to put something here. And I did punch a hole there. So, anyway, he was out there measuring and scraping and spraying the rust and what all and um and then we started watching the weather and we're like oh my gosh it's oil-based paint and if you don't have at least 50 degree weather 55 or something it'll never dry and then when he comes to move it, it'll just peel all up and get all messy and yucky. And we decided, ah. Eh. 
<coughs> let's wait. And sure enough, here come the storm. I don't know about this one, guys. See, it sits in there fine. But, hmm, I don't know. Uh, my candle's going to have to go. Makes my nose run. <coughs> I don't know about this one. I made the hole down there far enough that it won't tear up here. So it might be just fine with a ring. And I think that's what we'll do is just put a ring on it. Isn't that a song? Put a ring on it. Okay, so now let's take these beads that we have here. Now let's just ponder this a minute. If this can go through here. Sorry about the top of my head. put something on that to hold it so it doesn't come back through. As usual, we're flying by the seat of my pants because I've never done this before. And I'm not a beater, so there's that. Oh my gosh. Can you see it? So when it hangs, it'll be like this. Wah ha ha. <laughs> Cute. This is fun. If you guys haven't made a hand for Melody, do it. It's fun. My thing about this is I <coughs> I like it better without the string showing, so I'm going to go ahead and tie that in a knot. I think I uh, was telling you all about my broken heart for, I'm going to try it one more time. The nurses in our state, I, I mean, I know because I know I have medical people in my life. I know they're overwhelmed, overwhelmed. <laughs> they are, um. Uh, they're really overwhelmed, and a lot of them are getting very discouraged, and some have quit their jobs because of, not necessarily because of COVID. It's really about the families who are dying and the, um, uh, the politics of COVID. You know, there's protesters out front accusing them of faking death certificates and wanting to give them ivermectin, which is a horse warmer, in case, you know, in case you don't know. I would have never known if I hadn't had horses, but it's an animal warmer. Anyway, 
there's a lot of politics and so they're getting discouraged and oh look and uh, I posted on my Facebook page gosh I wish there was something that I could do I want to do something to try to tell these nurses how much I appreciate them now this is not moving why isn't it moving And if I know me, I probably tied it in a knot. I did, I can see it right there. Okay, so how, I don't need this much of it. And, and what in the hell is that? Okay, so I can, turn, I can cut that off because I don't know what that is anyway. It's probably some kind of a tool that I like I said, you know, guy, I'm I'm not a beater. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to beating. I go and buy stuff that I don't know how to use. Oh, I fed it back down. Okay. Yeah, that's the truth. I, I go buy beating stuff because it's beautiful, and I love it, and I think that there's an inner beater inside of me. And then I come home and try to beat and I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, the good news is, and now I don't know about everywhere, but in our area we have a Facebook page it's called, hold on, I can tell you what it is. It's so cool. <laughs> Idaho adopts, and then it has a colon, and then it says hospital staff and first responders. And what happens is, look at that, look how, oh, it matches perfect. Can you see? Okay. So, um, you can go on there and you, they make a list, like a, like a list to Santa, you know, they have, they go to, uh, I think it's Amazon. I haven't adopted anybody yet. And, uh, they go to like Amazon and they, make a wish list, and I've told you all, you if you don't have a wish list on Amazon, you absolutely, oh wait, oh wait, shoot. I have to leave enough room to go through the, hmm, I might already be too short. Let's see if I am. Anyway, um, you can adopt a, first responder and I think that I don't know whose idea it was but it's brilliant and I think it's great and I want to do it okay so this is going to have to be tied in a knot but it's also going to have to be have something on it right like like, um, what are those called? A jump ring? Yeah, so they were showing pictures over the weekend of, um, nurses and people in the hospital getting like comfy slippers and a teacup and a new pair of nursing shoes, homemade masks, um, coffee mugs, gift certificates. So awesome. It's just great. I think it's awesome. I just love that people are so generous and giving and I remember this stuff. It, you can't tie a knot with it. Hmm. 
This could turn out bad. This could turn out really, really a mess. Let's just keep going. Good COVID news. I have had, I'm going to leave this tail because I don't know if I've really tied this or not. So I'm going to leave a tail on these in case I need to retie them. This one, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. It's too short. Um, yeah, good news on the COVID front. Um, oh, look perfect is um, hmm, how am I going to do that can I I wonder if I could fold it and put a crimper on it and put it through could I do that I could if I knew how let me go grab a crimp yeah, I've had some friends that have had COVID, and um, it was hard, but, you know, they did fine. They, you know, it was a little scary, well, a lot scary, but they did okay. Now, I don't know a crimp from a jump ring, so... These are jump rings, I guess. And I think these are crimps, aren't they? No, that's not. That one is. That one is right there. Let's get it. Yeah, so, you know, I think once you get vaccinated, it isn't a guarantee you're not going to have COVID because a lot of us got vaccinated a long, long time ago. Let me get my crimping tool. And honestly, I got vaccinated almost a year ago. Well, mm, nine months. And they say it starts to wane after I can't remember six months or something but you have enough antibodies that you can fight it off and that's oh, that's just great okay I don't know what I'm doing you guys but isn't it fun So many people I see on the sites asking, how do I build my stash? I said the same thing because it's expensive. And, you know, if you're retired, if you're on a fixed income, if you... I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. I think it's supposed to go... Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did. So what I do is I buy on sale. I shop marketplace. I joke around about an Amazon wish list, but honestly, 
that's how I have built up a lot of my stash because when my family asks me, you know, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for birthday month? What, you know, I tell them, go look at my Amazon wish list and then surprise me. Now, if you're a beater, you might want to look away. Well, by George, I might have done it. Well, looky there. <laughs> okay. So we know that's stuck. And we'll put a beater. Well, actually, we might just connect the next row. Let's look and see. Okay, so this one, I had something in mind. Oh, yeah, it was these. <coughs> yeah, it, it takes time. Some of the things that I have that I use on my channel, I've had 10, 15 years. Because, you know, I thought I wanted to be a beater. I thought I wanted to whatever, you know, scrapbook. So don't feel like you have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars trying to get everything that everybody shows that they have to be able to do anything, whether it's junk journals or whatever. Don't do that. Take your time. Start with a special tool you like or a special paper pad buy them on sale buy them used look at marketplace put the word out on social media you know that you are in the market for crafting supplies and your friends will say oh my my friend's mother is selling all of her whatever and it'll happen it'll come together slowly And get rid of the crap you're not using. If you've got a room full of fabric and you really don't sew that much anymore, pick out your favorites and then post the rest on your social media because there's always people looking. Okay, I like those. And I think maybe I've picked through that enough. Oh, I hate to mess with this wire, this, uh, yeah, fishing wire, but let's see. I'm going to throw this one away because it's just too short. Yeah, and I can't see it. But this one, I think I want to use. Well, let's hold on. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to use, we're going to set that aside. I love this turquoise, and I do have some turquoise, but I may add some, but we'll see. I gotta put something in the end of this or it's all gonna roll out. already been out here almost 40 minutes. Gee, many Christmas. This is tough. I would not recommend it. Let 
I mean, I could put a piece of tape or something on the end, I guess. I don't really want that one. Let's do a different one. I think I told you all my... I have a family member who moved to Serbia. It actually is in the process of moving to Serbia. And I want to know how do you... How do I send things to Serbia? I tried over the weekend, and FedEx is not an option. We don't have uh, DHL, is that what it's called? Shipping service. So are any of you from Serbia? Okay. Sorry about my runny nose, guys. Okay. I could put a cloth down so these don't fly all over. Oop, and maybe that's what I better do. So let's do that. <laughs> Let me grab some kind of a This will help me see. I ironed something on this mat. I had a cloth down, but it still got really hot and it uh, warped it. I really want to put vinyl flooring on top of this desktop. <clears throat> oh guys, sorry I'm not better at this. I wished I had some, um, some of that burnt orange that's in there. I don't know if I'll do a pattern or not. Let's see. 
depends depends on how much I want to fiddle around with these little pink ones <laughs> Can you hear that wind? I definitely think that this winter we're going to find out how cold our house is, <coughs> how bad it is to do the driveway. How about these? No. <coughs> Dang it, I might have to blow that candle out. Oh, I do. Hold on. There she was, crafting away. Next thing we heard, she was on the floor. Well, these are worse. Oh, hell no, that's not going to happen. Uh, no, as we say in our house, that's a not happener. I did make a cute witch's broom over the weekend. Hmm. It really doesn't have purple, it has pink. You look at it and then it has this orange so let's look at these let's look at let's look at these browns let's see how hard they are <clears throat> this one's probably too big but we don't care Let's see, that one's not quite big enough. Got some squash cut up. And put in the freezer. I have been calling these squash that I love by the wrong name, and it's no wonder I haven't been able to find any. I've been calling them summer squash, and they're not. They are um, banana squash. Okay, I'm looking for one of those. I don't see one anywhere. So maybe we'll go, let's see, oh, I wished I had one. Hmm. Let's try one of these.
that's okay, I guess. And if you're new to beading and you think you want a bead or you want beads to embellish, just go to the secondhand store and buy a bunch of their old jewel, jewel or jewelry. Just go buy a bunch of it. Sometimes you can get it for, you know, 10 cents a necklace. Huh. I would like to have one more. <coughs> I guess we'll have to use this. I don't have any other one. Robin, I watched 90 Day Fiance yesterday. I cried watching the, um, no, oh, what's her name? The gal with the baby in, uh, Albania? Is it Albania? No. Ethiopia? Oh, I was sad when she left. Let's see. I feel like I need a green. Well, I feel like I need brown too. Orange. Yeah, that baby's father has PTSD in the worst kind of way. <clears throat> and all of his fears are coming true, he thinks. Hmm. It's cute, it's cute. We have a place, um, they have a website, it's called The Crystal Limit, L-I-M-I-T, and they come to the local hotels, kind of make the rounds um, once a year, and I always wait for their email, and um, that's where I get a lot of my beads. And, you know, they have cheap beads, and then they have, you know, really expensive beads. I have splurged and bought some really expensive beads, but not a lot, and I don't know what I'm doing, so I save them because I don't know what I'm doing. But maybe one day... Maybe one day I will splurge and do something with them. I did put a Swarovski crystal in the diary of a seamstress, the seamstress's diary. That was fun. Mmm. 
That was pretty. Maybe a pink one. I mean, I'm feeling lucky now. I... I've been seeing kind of a disturbing trend on YouTube, a little bit of a disturbing trend. I want just a couple more, but not craft related. Um, I've been seeing quite a lot of um, like doom and gloom on the prepping channels. I've been watching a lot of the prepping channels um, to get ideas on, you know, how to use this Sela thing I bought and and other things. And, my gosh, I was going to say you'd think the world was going to end, but some of them actually are touting that the world is going to end. Oh, come on. It's just not that dramatic. Let's not get that dramatic, please. Any chance I can grab one of these pink ones again? Probably not. So if you know somebody in Serbia, or you are in Serbia, how do you get your mail? How do you send things? How do people send you things? I can't do that. That's killing my eyes. <clears throat> There's a craft show coming up in our area, and I can't wait to go. My husband gave me these to use. Maybe they'll help. Hmm? No, they're not going to help. Well, guys, I hate to have you just sit here and watch me fight with beads. Our time is almost up anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and close this journal, or this video, and um, I may go ahead and hook that in if I can so you don't have to watch it, but you get my drift, right? Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to call this a video and, and try to fumble through this so you guys don't have to suffer with me. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.